All right, I want to just want to show everybody this uh, this little two-stroke engine that I picked up today. German two-stroke. I've known about this engine for a while. I just went and picked it up today over in New Jersey. I'm thinking it's military just because of the green paint on it, you know, the color. It's definitely a German made engine. All the lettering on it is in German. Name plate here. Okay. Here's what's interesting is uh this here. Something in German, no idea what that says. It says start over here. I don't know if maybe it's start and this word here is run. And it just so happens that the word start is also the same in German as it is in English, I don't know. This here. It's also in German. There's a tachometer on it, built onto the engine. Interesting. Doesn't look like it. Act, doesn't look like it works though. I mean, the needles all the way. I don't know why the needles point that way, unless that's just the way it points when it's not running. Go over a few things with it. Obviously, the carburetor is a float carburetor. Gravity fed. Gas tank set up here, obviously. I'm thinking it's similar to a, like, you know, the standard Briggs gas tank, the big round ones, like the gallon tanks. If I could find one, one of them, it might actually fit in there. air filter right here. This is the intake for it. Unscrew this right here. Let's see it's a little bent. The service instructions are also in German for the air filter. I did some translation on these already, these instructions here, and it says uh, wash filter in clean petrol uh, gasoline. So that and there's a little steel pre-filter here, a little honeycomb filter, and there's a foam filter. Well, not not foam, but like almost like a wool filter in down there. Compression release button it has the shielded spark plug wire. Well, from the factory it did, and somebody put this little number on it right here. That. Anyway, it has uh, the little threaded uh, end for it, so maybe I'll get lucky and find the the shield for the spark plug somewhere. I don't know. The spark plug is not the proper type. It's uh, this one is one of the tapered seal plugs. And obviously, it should have a gasket seal type plug on it. So, uh, muffler, of course. <clears throat> Recoil start. Big braided steel cable instead of a rope. Pretty heavy duty. Does turn over, has compression. It, uh, it doesn't turn over well, though. It seems like you really need to get a good crank on this handle to get the whole thing to turn over. I mean, obviously, it's not driving directly the, you know, the crankshaft of the engine. Obviously, it's coming at an angle, and the crankshaft is running this way, you know. But it does turn over.
have to tr trust me on that one, I guess. Some kind of uh, gearbox on the end here. Some kind of selector lever. Just kind of stuck. This little little pin at the bottom travels in this little groove right here. I don't know what it is. If it's engaged or disengaged, what the deal is. I mean, I can feel the engine turning now. When I turn the uh, output here, it's kind of an interesting output. It's got a grease fitting here. It appears to be a grease fitting. I'm not sure what this was mounted to. If anybody has uh, any information on this, I'd be wanting to hear from you there. Not a lot of idea what this could have come off of. Maybe uh, some kind of power unit generator? I don't know. It's interesting that it would have a clutch on it if it was a generator, but I don't know. If anybody's ever seen one like this, or seen anything like this, with a similar name or a similar design, let me know. Shouldn't be too bad to get running.